Today, I'll be explaining how you can do animated mapping with only free softwares. So I will be starting with paint.net. So here I have my 1949 map and I use DaVinci Resolve. So if you want to download it, I'll put a link in the description. It does require your address, so maybe just give them a fake address if you're not comfortable sharing it. But yeah, after you download it, you'll get something and then you just open edit. Now I already have a lot of things set up here, but you know, they're, they're pretty simple to find. You just find it up in the top and yeah. So on this map, I have a bunch of layers, whatever. So say I want to make a nation talk. So I've, I'm using two slides. One is for the map and one is for the text. So for the map, you just highlight whatever you need to talk. So say you want, I don't know, Italy to talk. Hold shift, use a pink bucket and uh, click on Italy's color and then you get it highlighted. Then control shift, F and it'll compress the layers and then you save it as whatever you need. You can save this as a 32 bit or 24 bit, doesn't matter. After you've done that, you can open DaVinci, press Control I. I set my hotkey to just I. You can change it in up here in the preferences, and you can just change it up there. So Control I, and then you just type in whatever it was called. So it was F1, and you drag it in. After you drag it in, what I like to do is make this smaller, just for some more room up here. And you'll have this map. Now in order to use animation, you can't have the text with this slide. You need to have the text on a separate slide. So that's why I have this slide. So this slide, I have three layers here. I have the top layer, which is with the date, the flag gradient, and the different lines I have. Middle layer is nothing. Usually I paste in a, a flag in here from my gallery, I like to call. And at the bottom is some black, so the text is easy to read. I set my opacity at 200. You can make it higher, you can make it lower, but I wouldn't make it any lower than 180 since then it gets hard to read. So here, since it's Italy, I look for Italy here. And then I do control C. You have to make sure you highlighted you highlighted it. Control C and then you just paste it in the middle layer. So control V. Now I have Italy here, and I can just make it say whatever it wants. Okay, and then control shift F, and then when you save it, make sure you save it. Oops. Save it as F2 and make sure you save as a PNG 32 bit. If you do 24 bit, it's going to render as white. It's going to render transparency as white. So you make sure you save as a 32 bit. The, the file size is still very small and just press OK. Then you go to DaVinci Resolve again, Control I, and then you press F2 and enter. 
and then now you have the text when it loads a few moments later okay now it works also a tip if your laptop isn't the best you can go to playback proxy mode and turn it to half resolution it drops the resolution by half but you can still read it pretty clearly so when when you're here it's pretty pretty good because now you have the layer here and you have the map so what you want to do is open inspector inspector will be turned off but you can turn it on in the top right and put in a keyframe so next to transform there will be composite transform cropping do not use dynamic zoom right now it doesn't really work very well it doesn't give you any coordinates transform does now for transform next to it is a keyframe press it while your map is highlighted in red so then go somewhere else in your map and press the keyframe again. And this new, and then you can just like nav navigate it here. So these two arrows to go in between the keyframes. The first keyframe I would put maybe up here. I don't know. I'm not the best with zooming it. And then so you go from here. And then you set a new coordinate. So zoom here. All right, so let's see how this looks. Obviously it's a bit laggy since my computer is not the best, but it's fine. And then for the text, if you wanna make the text fancy, you can open effects library with the video transitions and get push and you just drag it on here and then it'll have this effect okay you can really see it. it's a bit too laggy but it, it it basically like it slides in yeah see And then you can just cut it here. And what I like to do is to grab this little thing and like drag it like that. They'll make it up here. So then that's basically how you animate. And then if you want to have it have no more text, you do the same, you undo your actions to where there's no, no one talking, and then you just save it as another name. The same with here. Dirty to it, and then you can plop in your slides again. So then when you're here, what you want to do is select this, double click the, the, the coordinates, and then just paste them in. So you double tap that again and control V. And you select this, double tap, double tap, control C, go here double tap control V try not to change it at all if you see it change and you can change it back then when you're here what's that if you want to have it to ease in I'm not sure you can do that with keyframes yet but there are curves so if you see up here there are curves so select one and then click on click on one and they'll have this curve it isn't really easing in it's just changing how it moves it's not the best system but it's better than nothing but remember davinci is free so 
if you don't want to spend money on Premier or Camtasia, this is your best option. Unless you want to pirate, then I guess I can't stop you. You can put in some tra transition sides here. And then you basically did it. Obviously this is oversimplified. This is, these are only two, four slides. And obviously you're gonna put in music, put in other stuff. This is just a rundown of how you animate.